Hello ladies and gentlemen, look at us. We are on fire and already at module 9 in wordpress.com. Now in module 9 we are going to take a look at some of the share buttons again inside wordpress.com because as I have said these buttons are amazing to get your pages your content your articles your posts anything that you are posting on your site out there and growing viral and enables your fans and your friends to share your content and that's what this is all about so can you remember how we got to the share buttons if you said settings and sharing, you are 100% correct. Well done. Now, what I want to bring your attention to is this specific area here, sharing buttons. Now, what we have here is available services, enabled services, and a live preview. So let's start with the available services. Now, say at the moment we can see we have on our enabled services here, we have press this, Twitter and Facebook. Now, what about if we wanted to use some of the other available services? So as an example, let's say we wanted to use LinkedIn. We simply drop and drag LinkedIn down here. We bring stumbled upon we can bring tumblr and we can bring pinterest down here now over here to the right we also have let me highlight so you can see that properly services dragged here will be hidden behind a share button so before we go there let's bring Google Plus down here as well now let's say we wanted to add email here let's drop and drag that there let's bring dig it over here as well and let's bring Reddit and let's let that go and let's say we wanted to press this and put that over there as well let's say we also wanted to rearrange our um, enabled services let's say we want Twitter first then we know we want Twitter first we then want Facebook to be second we then want Pinterest to be third let's say we want to Tumblr to be fourth LinkedIn fifth G plus six one, two, three, four, five, six, yes, and stumbled upon seventh. And then if we come down here to live preview, these are all the buttons that will be shown on your pages or your posts or your pages and posts. And we can even actually format these buttons a little bit more. So if we come down here, you can see we've got a style button. Now we can have an icon and text, we can have icon only, or we can have the official buttons. I'll go with the official buttons because I just want to show you something there. Now you can actually also change this text here called sharing label. This has simply got share this. We could call this uh, share the love or we could call this share the links. And here, open links in now. I would suggest that you open it in a new window and the reason I say that is that if it is opened in a new window we simply want that person to close that window and land back on our site very important if we had this open in the same window and somebody closes that web browser they are lost so we want to make sure 
that we have them open in a new window. Now show buttons on. You can have them on the front page, archive pages and search results, posts and pages, media, not so important and again the wordpress.com light button. So we want to come down, let's save those, let's go a look ahead and have a look and see how they look on our site. So I've made a post and here we are. You can see we have our Twitter, our G+, our Facebook, Pinarus, Tumblr, LinkedIn, stumbled upon and if we click this small button here you can see we have our email, dig and reddit. Now if we come back to our settings and sharing, if we change this from official buttons and let's put icon only, let's save those changes again. Let's save those. Let's come back over to our site. Let's refresh our web browser and look at that. That small change to just have the icons really just makes our site look more professional and more tidy. And again, here is the more button. Here is our email. Here is dig it. And here is Reddit. So Professor Click's homework for you is to go into your settings, sharing, come down to your sharing of buttons, move them around, put some services in over here, go and look at the style buttons, change your sharing label, make sure you have it open in a new window, have it on your posts and your pages, do a test post, make sure you save your changes, go to your site, open it in a new tab and have a look at the power of these social media buttons and I will see you over in module 10.